Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this video is in response to a comment I received from somebody who said they was having trouble uninstalling an app. They installed an app, couldn't see its icon on the, uh, on the screen here, um, just couldn't find it anywhere. When they installed it, they went into the app for the very first time. Um, it seemed to sort of set itself up, then it crashed out, and then they couldn't find it again. They had to re-download it again, and, uh, and, 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 and the same thing. So they just wanted to make sure that it was removed from their system. Now, this is, a, uh, like I say, a guide that's in response to that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download an app as an example. Now, uh, I'm just going to go into Downloader, OK, and I'm going to download an app just here which I personally have had trouble with in the past. I'm not saying everybody has, but uh, let's just go and download that app. Okay, let it download. Okay, so I'm gonna install the app on the system, so uh, let's just do that. Let it install now, and it says apps installed. So I'm just gonna to go to done, and I'm just gonna delete this, and let's just come back out Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna see if I can find the app. So let's just go into apps just there. And no, the app just isn't there. Now, first of all, it might be that the app might not have an app icon. So if it's sort of, for instance, like this particular app here with um, a plus and uh, a few boxes, then it might be worth going into there just to see if that is the app that's in question that's missing. Now I know that isn't the app that's missing for me. So next thing to do is to perhaps download and install the app again, just to make sure there's not been a problem with the installation. So I'm just gonna do that. So let's just uh, type in the code there and I'm gonna let the app download and install again. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so let's install it. It's now installing, hopefully shouldn't take too long. Go to done, middle button. Let's just delete the, uh, the app installation file. Go across to home, come out, and let's just see. Nope, the app's just not there at all. Now the next place to look for it is if I press and hold the home button on the remote control until this menu appears, go across to settings, middle button, go across to applications, middle button, and then go down to manage installed applications, middle button. Now here is a list of all the applications on the Fire TV stick, and they should be in alphabetical order. So just keep going down and see if you can find the app in the list there. If you can find it, like I found it just there, then you can either go into that there and launch the application if you want to. And there you go, it actually does work. Now, it's probably no fault of this app. It might just be that the app isn't designed for the Fire Stick primarily, so, uh, so therefore might not set up correctly. But if you think to yourself, uh, actually, no, I don't want the app on here anymore, then go down to uninstall, okay, middle button on the remote control, it might be worth, in actual fact, just clearing the cache, clearing the data on there, doing a full stop, do it the other way around, in actual fact, do full stop, clear data, and then clear cache, okay, and then, and then go down to uninstall and uninstall it, like so. Now, another thing you could try is come out of this, go back to the main menu, okay, press home button to make sure we're back to uh, the same place go to find go down to search and search for es file explorer and as you're typing es you should see there es file explorer appear once you see it go down to that press the middle button on the remote control highlight this white and blue icon just here Press the middle button on the remote control. Now, if you've already got ES File Explorer File Manager, then um, it will open up. If you haven't, you'll get a screen similar to mine. It might say the word get there. So uh, middle button on the remote control. 
that will download and install. Now this bit might take a bit of time, it really depends on the speed of your internet connection and the speed of your Fire TV stick, so just be patient with it. As you can see, mine is now installing, hopefully shouldn't be too long, and it should go to open the installing. There you go, it's gone to open, so that means it's installed. So middle button on the remote control to open. Now, what we need to do is we need to agree to storage permission on here. So uh, we need to press the middle button on the remote control. If that doesn't work, keep pressing the down button until you notice the agree there change color. I don't know if you saw that there, but it went a slightly darker blue when I press the down button on the remote. Middle button, okay. Now this bit is very, very important. We need to allow ES File Explorer access to photos, media, and files on your device. If you deny it, if you go down to deny, then the app simply won't work. So you need to ensure that you select allow. If you've selected deny, then you're gonna to have to uninstall ES File Explorer and reinstall it again, and then select allow the next time you go into it. So make sure that allow is highlighted. That is very, very important. So I've done that. Middle button on the remote control. Now we need to agree and continue here. So middle button on the remote control. Now. Here it's asking us whether we want a free trial of ES File Explorer Premium. Gives us all these extra wonderful features, but to do this, we don't actually need a free trial. We've got an option to restore here. If we've already purchased ES Premium, then uh, we can restore it from there. If we haven't purchased it and we don't want a free trial, just keep pressing the up button until the cross up there in the top right hand corner goes white and then middle button on the remote control. There you go, and now we're in the absolutely free version of ES File Explorer. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to now go down and across to app, just there. So once we go into app, that will show us all of the apps that are available here on the Fire TV stick. So go down, see if you can find the, uh, the, the app in here. Now, I don't know what kind, oh, it is in alphabetical, no, it's not in alphabetical order. I think it's in the order that the apps were installed here. So if we can't find the app in here, I can, it's just there, but if we couldn't find the app, go up to the top there, up to where it's got user apps, middle button on the remote control, okay, and go to all APKs and just see if it appears in there. If it doesn't appear in there, then go to backed up apps, okay. Still doesn't appear, go to installed on SD card. If you've got an SD card or a, uh, an, a USB stick connected to the Fire TV stick, installed on phone, there you go. That should be all of the stuff that's installed actually on the Fire TV stick's internal memory. Try system apps in there. In actual fact, I mean, system apps, most of these you won't be able to uninstall. But uh, once you've found the app, okay, let's, I've gone to user apps, there's my app there, okay. I can either launch it from here if I want to, just by pressing the middle button on the remote control, and then going down to open, just down there. And there you go, that'll launch the app for us. Or... If, uh, if I want to remove it, then what I can do is I can go back into that there and I can go down to uninstall just there. So uh, let's just do that, go down to uninstall, middle button on the remote control, and then hopefully within a few seconds, that should uninstall. Okay, so if after trying to uninstall it, it still remains there, then we've got another option. So what we need to do is we need to come out of ES. Let's just come out of that just by pressing the back button a few times. And we press the home button on the remote control. Okay, go across to find, down to search, and we need to search for explore. So that's the letter X. P-L-O-R-E. And as we're typing it, you should see Explore File Manager come up, highlight that, middle button. Make sure you've highlighted this blue, yellow, gray, red and black icon here with Explore in, 
middle button, okay, and then middle button on the remote control again. Now, if you've already got Explore File Manager, that would have loaded by now, but as you can see, I haven't, so mine's downloading and installing, and again, this might take a bit of time. Just be patient with it. Okay, now it's gone to open, it's now installed, so middle button on the remote control, and just like ES File Explorer, we need to allow Explore access to photos, media and files on the device. If we don't allow it, if we deny it, we're going to have to uninstall it, reinstall it again and allow. So make sure that allow is highlighted like mine. Middle button on the remote control. And then we go down to App Manager just there. So press the down button, go to the App Manager, middle button on the remote control, go down to Installed middle button on the remote control and we find our app in this list there you go just found it just at the bottom there so press and hold the middle button on the remote control and go down to delete there the red bin there middle button on the remote control and it just asks us to confirm do we want to delete it okay and then we go to okay again and there we go it's now uninstalled it says there uninstall complete if you're still having trouble uninstalling it, then I think you're going to have to go through the reset procedure of the Fire Stick and wipe everything out and start again from scratch to fully get rid of it. But hopefully one of the options in this guide should help you. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.